Hey there, Segudo Golfers. Tom Segudo here with a special guest. I'm here with Eric Cagorno, YouTube rock star. He's got an awesome golf channel. And today we're gonna be talking about his best golf tip, the best golf tip you've ever had. So Eric, tell us a little bit about this awesome golf tip you got yeah. for us today. It's the best golf tip. It's the crispy, right? It's the mashed potatoes. It's all the things the Segudo golfers love. It's the number one tip, Tom, that I would that I would recommend to someone and for myself that I learned that fixes like 10, 15 faults all in one. So it's really good. You guys are gonna love it. So, so just imagine this for a second. You've got all these swing flaws going on and you're confused about where to start. Well, Eric is literally telling you that you take this samurai sword right, yep. and you are slashing right through all those swing flaws. Yes, sir. By doing one simple tip. There's a little blood on here, Tom. You know, well, I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. I really think that the last student <laughs> got the bat in the stick with this one. Yeah. <laughs> but the last student wasn't listening. Bad you student. You gotta listen. Do this tip today. You won't have to worry about getting the samurai sword. <laughs> so, what is this awesome tip called? So crispy mashed potatoes, Tom. I like um, this drill is what we would call the head on the wall. Ah. Okay. Now I like my head, I like my forehead, et cetera, so I'm gonna make sure I be careful with this here as I do this drill. But the head on the wall, Tom, is exactly what, like what it sounds like, right? Um, I think you had mentioned in the grocery store where you gotta get your head, right, on the cereal box. Cereal box. And keep that there. Well, and since we're the, the golf mafia, we're the Italians, yes, we can do the can of tomato <laughs> sauce we put our head against, right? Yeah, perfect. So, so it's as simple as this. When I take my setup, Tom, there's, imagine there's a wall, right, or a line running down my forehead. What the best golfers do and what fixes a lot of faults, and when I say 10, 15, I don't even think that's an exaggeration. Like, dude, it, it's fixed a lot of faults. Heads on the wall, during my back swing, Tom, my head should stay on the wall. And that's fantastic. Now turn and, fa turn, turn and do that face on so yep. the... So my head's so on the wall to start, right, so it's here. And then when I make my back swing, my head should stay on the wall. And Tom, it should stay on the wall both in terms of the front and back, so I'm not sliding up and down the wall, and it should stay on the wall from this side in terms of this angle, right? So maybe if we said like, hey, this is what off the wall would look like. If my head was here like this, I've got the cereal box or the tomato soup, and I make my backswing and my head looks off the wall, this would probably be common to a lot of people. And from that face on view, you're, you're actually seeing like your head's moving right, is that correct? My head's moving right, chest down, no tilt. And I can even, when you did it the other way with your head on the wall, I was looking at the, the bead on his cap here. It was not moving at no. all. And I'm not even trying to keep his head in place. That is how good he's keeping That's his head talent, on the wall. Tom. It's all talent, man. Dude, it's what happens when you're a rock star. <laughs> so the head on the wall, when I do it from face on and on the back, like it does all the things that we talk about all the time. Right, right. right. So like the tilting on the way back. If I keep my head on the wall, go from this angle for a second. If I keep my head front on the wall, my left shoulder goes down towards the ball, right, automatically. When I do it from this side again, for me to keep my head on the wall, my left shoulder works down towards the ball. Check that out. His shoulder is actually going to the middle of his chest. That shoulder going down, your relationship with the ball. It's crucial yeah. to have a good relationship with the ball. Good rapport, build solid contact. Dr. Phil, not necessary with this <laughs> drill. I keep my head on the wall. My relationship's good, right? First date going well. As I go back, my shoulder stays down. My relationship's still good. This time would be poor relationship, right? Heading for a divorce. Yes. Head off the wall, flat shoulders. This would be good relationship, second Solid date coming. Oh yeah, you're yeah. getting that second date. You're getting that, it's the best pickup line in golf I've ever Turning heard. Turning around first base, right? Heading towards second quickly. And the same thing from this side, if my head goes off the wall and my shoulders turn flat, I get the, you know, lots of form rotation, lots of flat backs and open club face, bad, 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 bad. So what happens when somebody does that? You usually see the good old samurai sword chop yeah. You're better off just sticking that thing in the ground. It's a lot of chopping, Tom. It's a lot of the old Segudo, right? It's the, it's a lot of the shift, the lift, right? The drop sort of method. I'm getting some PTSD right now. I didn't want to bring it up, especially with the sword in your hand, but I figured just to show the viewers, you know, just to show them. So what you're saying is I could hold this sword against your head yep. as Go ahead, the put it on your wall. And I won't try and push too hard yep. if he's a good student. Look yep. at that. And when I do that, Tom, like that to me feels normal because it's to the point where like I've trained that and it's in there, but it didn't always feel normal. Mm. And in the beginning, if you held that, maybe if we do go from this side, right. if you held that same sort of thing in the beginning, I would have lost contact with that sword really quickly and easily, like right off the bat in the backswing. And what came with that was no crispy, no mashed potatoes. Ooh, terrible okay? dinner. 
fat shot, hitting behind the ball, right? Lots of inconsistency. Mm. Now the head on the wall, and when I was first introduced to it, it was like a, one of those like aha moments, right? Where like the, the clouds go away, and you could just like, everything's perfect. So you heard a choir of angels. Literally, that's exactly what I heard when I heard head on the wall. I thought that same exact thing. And it fixed so many things. Like what it did, Tom, and what I really like, and what I love about your channel is, it's one or two feels that are really simple, that are really effective right away. And so when I recorded my swing, my head was on the wall, and guess what happened? Let's do the sword. Guess what happened? My left shoulder went down. My arms and hands normally, Tom, as I lifted, went up here. My arms and hands from here go in on the way back. Check that out. Right, so my hands are in. My left shoulder goes down. I feel my left knee working down towards my left toes. And right, I keep my head on. Like I don't get stabbed. You don't get stabbed. Old me would go off of it, come back, get stabbed on the way down, highly inconsistent, not good. And old you would not be on video because if there was a sword, your head would have definitely been like that last student that unfortunately met <laughs> yeah. his demise a little blood due to there. that. <laughs> so that's an incredible tip. If you're looking to simplify the golf swing into just beyond belief, like eliminating 10 to 15 flaws, but at the same time, you're building solid habits for what to do to build crispy contact this is a great tip. Keep your head against the wall. The entire golf swing happens. It happens naturally, Segudo golfers. Yeah. Naturally. You know, how much, how much, how well, much are you doing? I mean, there is some skills that we need to train. I want to walk up here like Tom. Awesome. I want to get, I'm get serious about this. Now, the other thing about the head on the wall, okay? The other thing about the head on the wall is it's not just a backswing thing. It's not just a backswing thing. Not just thing. a backswing. Oh, so this is going beyond. It's not just a backswing thing. If we could just do one for one more second, pull it back out. Are you sure you want to do At the risk of my own life. I'm sharpening it. When I go back <laughs> and wipe the blood off, my left shoulder goes down, my head stays on it. Now, when I come down on the way through, I'm replacing that with my right shoulder down. Right? So you're keeping your relationship to the ball, it looks like. I'm keeping my relationship, no Dr. Phil needed. And my head should stay on the sword Tom, roughly until my arms get parallel to the ground on the way through. And so, man, if there's one thing at home that you could hit balls, like 20 reps a day, just like, you know, even grocery, right? Get your head on the wall. It's gonna fix a lot of issues that are in people's golf swings. And, so, and that's the beauty of this too, is that you can do this anywhere. Yes. If you're working, you got some phone calls to make, well, put the phone in your right hand and just keep your head against the wall. That's right. Don't move it. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever hand works better. Or you're at the grocery store, you're at the doctor's office. Who cares what people think? If they see you in public and you're doing this thing, as long you're as a golfer. Golf better, right? So long as they hit it better. <laughs> it, golf is life. So yeah. when life is when golf is good, life is good. He head on the wall, hands in. Head on the wall, hands in. Left shoulder down, hands in. Lots of things get fixed in one. If there was a better song for golf, I don't know if there could be a better song. That would be a top hit. We'll pull out the guitar later and we'll get something down. We'll be paper. jamming. So <laughs> Eric, thanks again for your tip today. This yeah, is man. phenomenal. Best tip he's ever had. Keep your head on the wall. And you said something earlier about keeping your head on the wall. It was if you, you would literally lose your mind if you lose your head. Quite frankly, yeah, quite literally. So you would lose your mind, your golfing mind if you lost your head off that wall. Nobody wants that. We don't want that kind of insanity. That's why we're here showing you how to get the ball as crispy as possible. Thanks again for watching. Check out Eric's channel. Eric Cogorno, spell it for us, Eric. C-O-G-O-R-N-O, Cogorno, like DiGiorno, Ooh. pizza. You know, when you, those food associations are killer, especially when you're <laughs> Italian. Good sauce, the golf, the Italian golfing mafia delivering saucy golf tips. Love it, man.